What's up guys, Jack here with another video. So, as you can see, we are in a beautiful game here. Look at all this brutalistic building. Would you like to work in a place like this? This is the Federal Bureau of Control. And this is our main protagonist, Jesse Faden, a new female employee who was supposed to uh, come in here and exercise her creativity with her fancy, fancy new acquired powers here. That comes with the job. Anyways, um, the thing, however, as you can see, is that you have some male employees whose head aren't quite right. Uh, it's, they're, they're being affected by something called a hiss. It's kind of similar to that thing uh, from uh, Far Cry 5 that drove people insane to Bliss. Here we go again. Bliss. Blizzard! Yeah, Blizzard Entertainment. Yeah, we're talking about those guys again. And yeah, the company that just doesn't seem to want to take a rest. Here's the thing. I... A couple of days ago made a video about Blizzard in good faith because I don't want the games that they've created to die completely they've generated so much happiness and uh, created a whole community about themselves so I clearly don't want them to perish however Blizzard doesn't see it that way and they keep on going through that self-inflicted wound and we are talking today about the culmination of two years of investigation in something that is so sour that it makes EA look like the good guys. Yes, EA, in comparison to Activision Blizzard, Ubisoft are now the salt of the earth. Wow, how far have we fallen? Okay, so I'm going to take a pause here, see you later, Jesse, and pull up a document here um, that... I read through. This is a lawsuit from the Department of Fair Employment and Housing versus Activision Blizzard, obviously. And uh, it's a mess. Absolute all and utter mess. And I would recommend anybody who wants to, uh, to dive to the mess of this thing to actually do so. You are going to get a lot of insight on the plethora of things. Uh, I know that there are summarizations out there from um, different news articles. I uh, found some from Bloomberg especially. And uh, you can read that, but I definitely recommend going through the entire things. It's not too long. It's 29 pages. Come on, guys. You, we, we read our artist books or whatever, Warcraft books all the time. So you can watch through this. So, just to clear a few things up here. Ubisoft is a company that is known for having a... Champions League's level of neglect, a history of it, and this is not about to change. This just confirmed the entire endeavor. And what makes this even worse is that you are going to see here elements that has built into the community for many years. And while not completely overlooked, we just didn't know the atrocity and how far these kind of things went through. Now, we're reading through this document, it's like reading through a long text, like there are different paragraphs uh, marked. In bullet points now the first one second pretty boring just an introduction of what the company is about and the games that they're producing begin in number three here it's about the company structure and it says that unlike its customer base of increasingly diverse players that is those who are playing these games above here warcraft diablo and overwatch the likes of those um, defendants, Activision Blizzard's workforce is about only 20% women. Its top leadership is also exclusively male and white. The CEO and president's role are now and have always been held by white men. Now, many will go and say, oh, why do you need to state this out? Now, here's the thing. Under normal circumstances, I also will be arguing for this. But you have to remember that Unlike a lot of things that are going, that sometimes happen with allegations, because the term allegation is used here quite a bit, you have to remember that this is a combination of two years of investigation from stuff that's been brought up many years prior to that. You know, allegations have been made for years. Only then, investigation was launched two years ago from 2018 that ended up in 2020 here on bullet point number 18 it says here that after more than two years of investigation the department of fair employment and housing issued a cause finding on june 24 2021 
in the course of the Department of Investigation found evidence that defendants discriminated against female employees in terms and conditions of employment, including compensations, assignment, promotions, terminations, constructive discharge, and retaliation. And there is quite a lot to cover here. Back to our point number three. There are going to be clear and obvious definition and plenty of examples that are being brought up there. Not just in this document, and of course, a lot of the people who also are mentioned here uh, have come up to speak about this. There's a very disgusting uh, element that happened through this, and we are also going to be talking about that. So anyways, jumping down to point four and five, this is where the true shebang starts. Like the executive rank, women across the company are assigned to lower paid and lower opportunity levels. Female employees receive lower starting pays and also earn less than male employees for substantially similar work. There are multiple instances here that are mentioning how blatantly disgusting the behavior of male employees are towards their female ones. For example here, the defendants have also fostered a pervasive frat boy workplace culture that continues to thrive. In the office, women are subjugated to cube crawls in which male employees drink copious amounts of alcohol as they crawl their way through the various cubicles in the offices and often engage in inappropriate behavior towards female employees. These frat boys, these disgusting, disgusting men, have gone so far as to give it a connotation. <laughs> it has a name, cube crawls, where they are going into the female and harassing them. Now, if that wasn't enough, there's a mention here on how it is that these workers will spend most of their time playing video games while allegating a lot of their work onto their female co-workers and on the same time engaging in banter about their sexual encounter, talk openly about female bodies and joke about the one thing that uh, YouTube doesn't want you to talk about here is this fragile word, but it rhymes with a fruit. So we're going with the word great. So point six to eight gives you essentially a summary of what is transpiring, but you have to go into the details. And from nine to 29, these are the ones that you can kind of skip. It's the documentation of how the laws and such are going to take place, the different parties that are going to interact, how it is systematically built that the lawsuit is filed and the different kind of laws that they've broken. But from point 31 to 45, you actually get a good essence of what is happening here. For example, very beginning, this is the sexual discrimination of what is going there with the pay, assignment, promotion and termination and so on. Defendants have engaged in and continue the thing continues, although they know what is happening, that they are being investigated to perpetuate discriminatory practices regarding pay, assignment, proportions and other terms of condition on employment. You have several, several cases here where women are literally told that they can get paid higher, that they don't deserve to get the position, although they are putting equal amount of work and are sometimes even proven to be superior than their male counterparts. Women are also often afforded less stock and incentive pays opportunities. Female employees were overwhelmingly assigned into lower grades slash level without stock and incentive pays opportunity or less opportunities. As an example, a female employee working for Blizzard Entertainment was assigned to a lower level role, denied equal pay and subsequently sought a promotion because she had been carrying out duties exceeding her job description. You know, I remember this was the kind of thing that only transpired when you were working at a grocery store. I, I know I've done that for a good six years from different grocery stores and I know how that hierarchy works. And at least, at least if you were paid equitably, 
That would have made sense. In this for example, ultimately, the employee was promoted after three years while her male counterpart was promoted within a year of his hire despite having started several months after her. Then we jump over to 36. Another example here, the one that I mentioned to be kind of disgusting. A female employee who worked at Blizzard Entertainment was assigned to a lower level, denied equal pay and passed over for a promotion despite multiple factors that suggested that she earned it. Highly rated performance reviews, check. She generated significantly more revenue in marketing campaign than her male counterpart, check. She ran almost twice as many campaign as her male counterpart despite her accomplishment, her male counterpart was invited to have monthly or weekly one-on-one -on -one meetings with the vice president, but not her. Yeah, because she has a vagine and bobs. When a company goes their way, out of their way to deliberately do this kind of comedy things, it really makes me mad. But it's all this but a scratch on the surface. Jump to point 39 and it gets really disgusting. Hold on to your guts because... <laughs> We actually need to because female employees were also not promoted because of the defendants so activision blizzard discrim discriminatory practices against pregnant female employees a female employee working on one game team had assumed some of the responsibilities of a manager but when she asked her male supervisor about being fairly paid for the work that she had actually she was actually doing and promoted into that position, the manager, well, he commented that uh, the risk of promotion was too high, especially since she might get pregnant and like being a mom too much. So, y'all got moms, right? Imagine that one day your mom comes home. She's super sad, bawling her eyes out. And then you walk to her, because I know that some of my audience still lives at home. Or these are not quite major. <laughs> but you then ask her mom, what, what's wrong? What's going on? And she opens to you and tells you, son, the daughter, I am, I'm done for today. I, I, I just can't. I've been trying to get these promotions, been working extra hours to not just make ends meet, but also to make sure that we had our health care to alleviate some of the troubles for, I don't know, if you, we're making hypothetical here, I'm thinking too much about whether it's a single parent household or whatever. And then she says, the reason as to why I was not given the promotion is because of my vagina. Because I care about you kids too much. How ins fucking insane is that? I'm sorry. I'm trying to be a, great, a good Christian boy here and to try to stay away from profanities, but this is really making my blood boil. And now, I did promise you that there are good reasons as to why the whole colored thing was mentioned, the skin color, and then you jump to point four. Women of color were particularly vulnerable targets of the defendant's discriminatory practices. An African-American employee noted that it took her two years to be made into a permanent employee while men hired after her were made permanent employees. She also was micromanaged such that her male co-workers were known to be playing video games without any interventions by her supervisors but her supervisors this is fucked up would call and check on her if she took a break to go on a walk so y'all play video games right and i know that uh, we are a bunch of degenerates sometimes who like to spend a copious amount of hours just drilling to something to either get a reward or get a, a combo down but we should at least especially in a workplace like this, promote healthy habits. Stand up, go for a walk, you know, get, get the blood flowing, shake your legs a little bit. But no, walking. What the hell is even that? Who the walked? We are all sitting on our Segway here, just leaning for one. They want all the employees to look like that South Park meme. Rest his soul. And you know what gets worse? She was scolded because of her body language and also because she was asking for help to do the work given 
assigned to her. Like, isn't that a thing that we all learn from a very young age to ask questions in school that, hey, if you have a problem, you should definitely ask because or else you won't be able to solve it. No result, no good result come out of that. But no, 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 no. Because if she didn't ask for help, she would get crit crit criticized for that, ostracized for, all, for not doing her work properly. But then she asked for help and she still... An evil cycle, it's a loop. Just like Blizzard, just a chaos descent. Now, these employees, these male employees were having this frat boy culture going on in the offices. And they were harassing women all the time and doing these disgusting jokes. And of course, as the frat boy culture goes, somebody had to try to win a prize. Somebody had to push the envelope as much as possible. And as it just so happened, it's always a higher up. We jump to point 47. In a blatant example of the accused, the accused refusal to deal with the harassers because of his seniority in position, Alex Afraziabi, a former senior crea creative director of World of Warcraft at Blizzard Entertainment, was permitted to engage in blatant sexual harassment. Permitted! With little to no repercussion, during a company event at an annual convention called BlizzCon, <laughs> do you? I'm going to pause here quickly. Do you remember the whole debacle when there was this gal who came to the stage, or at least not came to the stage, but answered the question as usual, um, just like the red shirt guy? Hi there, uh, Zant here from Kieran Tor. Um... I love what you guys done with Little Crest. I love the fact that you have a lot of very strong female characters. However, I was wondering if we could have some that don't look like they've stepped out of Victoria's Secrets catalog. Doesn't. Yeah. What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. Which catalog would you like them to step out of? Could, could you could you see Sylvanas looking any other way? <laughs> now you can have your opinion on female design and whatever. People always kind of go and say, "Oh no, let's be let's act like anti SJWs whenever female are talking about not objectifying female bodies." Whatever you can have your opinion on that all day long. Personally, for me. I can see sometimes where it gets overboard. But it's one thing when Anthony the Trolls are jumping into that discussion and are trying to make this argument, and another thing when the deaf themselves are pushing this type of behavior. And I observed that on that one BlizzCon and I felt uneasy. But needless to say though, back to this case, a frazzy AF, a fuck, would hit a female employee telling him that he wanted to marry them, attempted to kiss them and putting his arms around them. This was in plain view of other male employees, including the supervisors, who had to intervene and pull him off female employees. So I don't know about you, when I talk to a girl and I want to know them better, if they ever were to feel disgusted by my advances or the way that I speak, the tone of my voice, my actions, it would give me a bad gut feeling. Like, I'll be like, whoa, where did I go wrong? Am I actually disgusting? I'll feel bad inside, making another individual uncomfortable. It's like genuinely a good human reaction. It's for you yourself to be in a bad position, to yourself be uncomfortable. But you'll never find yourself in that situation if you treat a lady, a woman, as an individual, as another person, not as a piece of meat. Trust me on that. Just an advice. This gross man was allowed to just do that in the open. And what makes it worse is that this guy's behavior was so well known that 
in his suit. His was nicknamed the Crosby suit. After alleged rapist Bill Crosby, who got released recently, so what the hell? <sighs> and to make things so much more worse, a fuck here would also call female their derogatory names after company events. And his conduct was of course brought up to the, the executive and especially to the president of Blizzard, J. Allen Brack, that dumbass, who, through so much stuff, never even bushed a freaking finger. What he did was to give him a slap on the wrist for his too friendly behavior towards female employees. I'm sitting here after crossing this and I'm thinking to myself, Blizzard is insane. Like, I made a joke these couple past days when I made the previous video saying to myself that perhaps all this behavior that Blizzard was exhibiting was them in a way like trying to get rid of the GMs, you know, those who will receive our complaints and not so that these complaints will never reach them. Not just getting rid of the GMs in within the games and within the company, but making them themselves offing themselves off life. In a very disturbing case here, Point 48. Some poor girl during a company trip committed suicide because of a sexual relationship she had with a male supervisor. Said D bag brought a butt plug and lubricant on a business trip to make his advances. The poor girl was said to have been harassed a lot beforehand. Mainly because of her male co-workers passing pictures of a private in the workplace. So this is the companies that we have been spending monthly pay year over year for. For those of you who are buying your microtransactions, this is them. These are the guys who... Instead of using that sum of pay, all the money that you've been paying, seemingly, are going to be put into fighting against lawsuits like this. It irritates me to a certain level. I, I don't... What annoys me even more is that on the bottom of the hierarchy, like you have so many others that we have known over the years who have been offed from Activision Blizzard just like that. The guy who were uh, voice actors, I just can't remember the names, would be taken off. Swifty. Swifty, a very popular World of Warcraft player, got, for some <laughs> ridiculous allegations that were disproven, by the way, offed with a snap of a finger. Out of the boys. We can't off him. Come on. Now, you may be thinking to yourself. So, Blizzard are saying this. The truth came out a month ago. How are they going to react? Um, what is the type of apology that they would um, give back? Well, for one, an IGN interview went on here on wowhead.com. Which, by the way, props on them of actually keeping things up and not censoring anything in the same way that Reddit did. We are going to hit, to hit Reddit in a bit. They answered in the most, like, maximum effort possible. We value diversity and strive to foster a workplace that offers inclusivity for everyone. There is no place in our company or industry or any industry for sexual misconduct or harassment of any kind. We take every allegation seriously and investigate all claims. In cases related to misconduct, actions were taken to address the issue. Really, nigga? Really? And we can, you know what? Skip all this. I've read through this. This is verbal diarrhea. Like, mm, some self-indulgence, so hyper-pompous dickery. And all that just to end with, you know, we put tremendous effort in creating a fair and rewarding compensation package and policies that reflect our cultures and businesses. 
and we strive to pay all employees fairly for equal and substantially similar work. We take a variety of proactive steps to ensure that pay is driven by non-discriminatory factors. For example, we reward and compensate employees based on their performances. Which, like, did they even read the whole report? I don't think so. And we are confident in our abilities. Now, this, this, this is the icing on the cake. We are confident in our abilities to demonstrate our practices as an equal opportunity employer to foster a supportive, diverse and inclusive workplace for our people. And we are committed to continuing the effort in years to come. Now, it is a shame that the Department of Fair Employment and Housing does not want to engage with us on what they thought they were seeing in their investigation. Blast! These slimy bastards. So, currently there are floodings in East and Southern Germany and it really sucks. But at the time, you have firefighters who are coming out to help people and they are doing God's work. Now imagine if said firefighters showed up and just opened up the fire hose and just kept on blasting the houses on every floor. Like, yeah, but we're firefighters, we're just doing our jobs, you know, opening the fire hose, spraying stuff. What did we do wrong? You know, they asked that. They went full on the garage route, you know. The, the end justifies the means. I did nothing wrong and I'd gladly do it again. This is Blizzard, guys. This is them. As the moment of recording here, I found the, the holy grail of it all. Blizzard President J. Allen Brack and renounces bro culture. Ah. Of course he did. Let's jump into this, ladies and gentlemen. Let me zoom here so that you can all see the, the barrage of absolute misinformation that is being spread. Hello, Blizzard. I personally have a lot of emotions coming out of yesterday, and I know you do too. The allegations and the hurt of current and former employees are extremely troubling. Why am I giving him my wonderful voice to do this? Jeez. I know many of you would like to receive more clarity while I can't comment on the specifics of the case as it's an open investigation. What I can say is that the behavior detailed in the allegation is completely unacceptable. This SOB was the one who enabled this behavior. What is he talking about? He can't. He can't comment. What? It goes with saying it's completely unacceptable for anyone in the company to face discrimi discrimination or harassment. It goes with saying that everybody should feel safe working here, whether we are on campus or at BlizzCon or working from home. It goes. It doesn't fucking goes with saying. He's using the argument of, oh, you know, it's it's written in the law that people can do this but they're still doing it so duh or it's not written in the law that people can be discriminated against so they can't there can't be discrimination what the fuck this is some self-indulgent stepping back when i talk with bobby oh no cartig about taking this job one of the Oh no, fucking hell, I can't read this, I can't, this asshole is making it all about him, why are you coming forth to save face? This is disgusting, now this is at the point where I find myself just thinking, oh whatever, a glimpse of hope may have remained of, is it just wants me, at this current state I just want to watch the entire thing ban, but it doesn't stop at the company. We are all individuals. It's why it's super important for us to always bring this thing forth and speak about it. But of course, there are leaders out there who will discount those things. 
And in a way, I kind of get where they're coming from. You have some deep bag who always, like, like to justify things a bit too much. Like, oh, we come off the cuff of the likes of uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, which is a fair point. Of course, bad chick and such. But again, I remind you, these are two years of investigation for years and years and years of abuse committed on these women, on these employees. They did not deserve that. Someone did not deserve to lose their life because of this. And it hurts me to my core when you then jump into the mother freaking Reddit, the war Reddit, who have to issue this type of statement, a joint statement from the moderators regarding the sexual harassment of Activision Blizzard. As moderators of the subreddit of Activision, they have to make very clear that they do not stand for Blizzard. They do not serve, serve Activision Blizzard. We are unpaid voluntary volunteers with no affiliation to the company. And above all else, we are our individual communities and we believe this is an important discussion to be had having said that though discussions surrounding this topic still need to be at to adhere to rules of the subreddit victim blaming sexism and harassment of authors will not be tolerated the fact that there will be people who still do this this very message here summarizes all <laughs> Am I out of the loop here? Does he have some familial connection to the Stenheim? To the Steinem or something? Because otherwise this all just reads as How are you doing fellow feminist? Yeah. My best friend is a woman. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be laughing right now. This is this is it. I'm trying to. Tr I'm going to try and condense this video. I've been talking for like 45 minutes. Let's try to see if I can cut it down to something shorter. But guys, um, how do you feel about Activision Blizzard now? This second video that I make about them. How's your feeling? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, let, let's uh, let's chat. Let's exchange some thoughts. Okay. So uh, this is a bit atypical. Uh, I'll, I'll tr I will feed you guys with some fun stuff afterwards. I kind of needed to go through this. Perhaps we are going to take one last jab at another one. Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 we need to address a few stuff about those two. But with that said, though, I wish you guys a good day nonetheless. Please. Be aware of your communities. I'm not saying that you should be turning into a freaking SJW. Please don't. They are just as annoying as also the anti-SJWs that are taking care, care of fighting against them. But be a normal person. Report this type of behavior when you see them. Just make the environment a bit better. I understand edge lords, sure. But this this is on another level it's disgusting but yeah that said though let me know what you thought what your thoughts are in the comment section below and uh see you guys in the next video